Yo, what is going on guys? It is Venom. Welcome back to a brand new video and I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So this is obviously how to get the most XP every single game in Call of Duty World War 2. Now there's tons of ways people tell you to do this. I'm honestly going to tell you the most laid back one. For me, I'm going to tell you my preference first and then you guys can go ahead and try it out yourself. But there are challenges in headquarters. So go ahead and pledge to some challenges. That's just the bare minimum. I'm just starting off. Go ahead and pledge to some challenges. I'm sure, sure you've heard that before, okay? So just go ahead and accept some challenges and then hop into any single game mode you like. For me, it's hard point. I never played domination anymore because you get 50 points every kill in domination rather than 100. I don't get why they did that this year. Makes no sense to me. So my game mode of choice this year is going to be hard point. Hard point you get 100 kills or 100 points per kill every single kill and then if you're in the hard point you get 125 and then every hard point capture you get you also get 125. The gameplay in the background you're going to start to see me go off this game. I get around 40,000 XP this entire game. At the end I left the or the lobby ended and it'll, you'll be able to see it's gonna say uh, lobby disconnected or some it's gonna give me some error it didn't actually let me see how much XP I got but before I started the game I was level 24 and then after the game ended I was level 28 and in between 24 and 28 is at least 40,000 XP that is just unreal and all you have to do is drop around 30 kills I know you guys can drop around 30 kills but use guns you don't use this is another big one if you use guns you don't use you're gonna be unlocking attachments for that gun and every single attachment you unlock you're gonna be getting around 100 XP so think about it if you can level up a gun to level 5 you're gonna get around probably 5 attachments that's just an easy extra 500 XP that's just gonna add up to our total XP boost for one game now staying alive is another big one you want to be able to get your score streaks to help you out with all of your experience so now the easiest way for me to stay alive use the left or the right side of the map they're called lanes use one of those because think about it if you're all the way hugging one side of the map you can't be shot from that side you can only be shot to either your left if you're on the right hand side or your right if you're on the left hand side you never have to worry about getting shot in that side because there's a wall there it's not like somebody can be out of bounds for me, I always do that. I've done that since every single Call of Duty. I'll hug the wall of a map on every single map, and that just eliminates one side I get shot from, and that is how I go on these big streets. Many people are going to tell you to play hardcore team deathmatch, team deathmatch. That's fine, but I mean, if you're looking at this gameplay in the background, you're going to see me hopping into the hard point. There's one point at the game. I'm going to zoom in on it. I'm actually going to put it right here. It was the um, end of the game. It was actually crazy. I got like 500 XP from literally like a half of a second. I'm not kidding you. Like, 0.5 of a second I got 500 XP just from one little spray down PPSH in my opinion is my favorite weapon I'm going to be uploading a video tomorrow of the best class setup to get a v2 rocket with it anyways to wrap it up um, I'm going to give you like four three or four simple points to do use guns you don't normally use play a game mode where you're confident and you can get a lot of kills don't play domination because you get 50 points a kill that's the only don't hug the outside of the map so you can get those score streaks faster and honestly if you guys want to level up just a little bit faster throw on the uav encounter uav combo you're going to be getting assist points and if you can even get those twice a game i bet you're looking at around 800 xp just from uav encounter uav combo now that's about it for this video you guys i hope you guys are having a fantastic day go ahead and try this out on world war 2 go grind get those levels and i'll see you you guys next time.